To the graduating class of 2021, I am so proud of everything that you have accomplished over the last four years. You leave Northumberland a better place than you found it, and I'm very grateful for the positive impact that you have had on our school. You have been a great group to work with, and I have enjoyed getting to know you all over the last four years. Ethan and Keeley, thank you for your leadership throughout the year. You have been great ambassadors for our school, and I have enjoyed working with both of you. This graduating class is no ordinary class. The last two years have been unlike anything we could have ever predicted. We have talked a lot about events that have been lost. Graduation ceremonies, school activities, community events, etc. Although I recognize how difficult this has been, I think it is also important to reflect on what has been gained. This graduating class has shown resilience, compassion for others, a sense of duty for the greater good, and the ability to persevere through adversity that very few groups before you have had to endure. In many ways, our youth have been leaders throughout this pandemic, reminding us that we can get through it if we all work together. You have supported each other and stepped up in our communities, working when others were not able to. I'm hopeful that as society returns to normal, these characteristics continue to grow with you as you move on to the next stages of your lives. Grade 12s, you are not the only ones here who are graduating tonight. Seven of our staff members, Mr. John Jennings, Mr. Michael Sullivan, Ms. Lisa O'Coin, Mr. Tom O'Coin, Ms. Marie Vint, Mr. Steve Turner, and Ms. Angela Gagnon are leaving NRHS with you. Thank you to each of you for all you have done for our students, and best of luck with your retirement. I would like to take this opportunity to make a few more thank yous to the staff of NRHS for not only what you have done to prepare for this graduation, but also for everything you've done for these students over the last four years. To the Schenecto Central Regional Center for Education for your unwavering support of our school and students. To the Educational Foundation for putting together all of our scholarship and bursary awards. And to all of our sponsors and award donors. Again, graduates, congratulations. High school is full of ups and downs, but I hope that all of you leave here with more good memories than bad. I'm confident that you leave with the tools necessary to make good decisions and achieve your own success. I hope that you look back fondly on your years here, that you always remain proud to be a Nighthog, and that this graduation is only the first in a long list of your many great achievements. Good luck. Hey Nighthawks, it's Ethan and Keely and we're just going to talk to you about our year in review. To our graduating class of 2021, we would just like to start off by saying how incredibly proud we are of all of you. You managed to make it through what we believe to be one of the toughest grad years ever and we are proud to say that we had no doubt in our minds that you could not do it. Not only did we make it through high school and the stresses of applying for university and college or deciding to take a gap year, but we did that all while surviving a global pandemic. All we, although we had many bumps in the road this year, we were still able to make many memories that will last for a lifetime. Throughout Northumberland, we had some dances in the gym through grade 9 and our many happy events during last year with our graddies in April. Our four years here at Northumberland will be something that we'll all cherish forever. This year has sure been a wild ride, rolling into Northumberland with high hopes for what our final year had to offer. We dealt with an entirely different schedule full of two and a half hour two and a half hour classes, constant guideline changes, and even went to online learning. We never would have anticipated that the school year would be so crazy and end so early during the second semester. It was disappointing not to have some of our traditional events that normal grad classes would have, but we can't disregard the amazing efforts put into the events that we did have at NRHS this year. Shortly after everyone adjusted to these changes, we had our very first Spirit Week at the school. And the Spirit Week was really different because of the absence of our infamous pep rallies and our spirit dances, but Nighthawks still showed their feathers this week and showed all their school spirit. Uh, the Karma Closet project at Northumberland continued to be a major success. Uh, having replenishable bins of food in each classroom to each student to have access to. Adapting to the new health guidelines was a great achievement and we hope we can continue this success in future years. In October, uh, the grad class committee held the very first grad event of the year at the newly reopened Highland Drive-In Theatre. Nighthawks and Griffins both enjoyed watching Nightmare on Elm Street and having a competition for the best Halloween costume. 
Staff and students were tested with the creation of the virtual Remembered Day ceremony this year. With lots of hard work invested, it was worthy of replacing our typical in-person ceremonies in the gymnasium and that we couldn't have due to large gatherings. December slowly became very eventful as the month progressed. We had a Winter Spirit Week along with a grad movie night at the Cineplex Theatre featuring Jim Carrey's The Grinch. However, with the news that the second wave of COVID-19 was coming, we were prospectively transitioning to online learning after Christmas. We returned to school in January 2021, a week later than expected, preparing for our first set of exams in person. Students moved on to their new classes in February with high anticipations of the second semester, as the second semester began. For March, the grad committee held a grad movie night with Hop during our third spirit week. It was full of laughter and great company. We concluded the month with the much needed March break before we took on April by storm. We went into spring season by organizing our fourth annual Gratis Awards at the Dacos Center in Picto. It was greatly attended and was easily one of the highlights of our grad year due to the hard work put in by our grad committee. Without the countless hours of planning and with the Dacos Center and the award making, this would not have been possible. Thank you to everyone involved in making this event a reality. We abruptly went to online learning come May, which was arguably difficult for some, while others loved working in their PJs. What we learned is that our grad class is so adaptable, moving into this platform of learning and to returning into in-person classes in the last two weeks of our shortened last month of school. Students began to work towards their final assessments of the school year during these last two weeks, and they were very tedious. This is definitely not how we expected our year to work out but we are so proud of you all for overcoming so many different obstacles and keeping that Nighthawk spirit up. We hope that we could have more events planned out throughout the year, but due to health guidelines in place, our plans are unfortunately denied. With the world slowly returning to normalcy with vaccines and health recoveries, we hope you celebrate this milestone in your lives to the fullest. We are so grateful that we had the opportunity to organize this year's events alongside Students' Council especially our with our determined executive council members who poured their heart into trying to regain normalcy and school spirit throughout the year. On that note, we would like to say thanks to our exec family for all the time and the hard work put into the events throughout the year. We were sad that this time together got diminished due to the ongoing pandemic and therefore lack of grad events, but we're grateful for each and every one that we could have pulled off in the past year. Everyone understands how awful it is to miss out on major events like prom and a big ceremony for graduation, but don't feel contempt. Many people all around the world are, exper are experiencing the same things that we are. Take this moment not to think about the opportunities that you missed, but rather on the opportunities that you can embark on. And recognize what great things you've achieved this year and in the previous ones during your high school careers. We are so lucky to have been able to be in school for the majority of this year, unlike many places globally. Students are currently figuring out alternatives for prom and currently received an okay for a small graduation for each Nighthawk. With everything happening in the world this present day, you can take advantage of this time to make the change that you want to see in the world. Take your heritage with you and similar to a Nighthawk, soar into the outside world with your great qualities that make you, you. With that being said, we both hope you look back on your days at Northumberland Regional High School and all of the great memories that we've all made together. Being a Nighthawk is something to be very proud of, and we can't, see, we can't wait to see where the future takes you all. We hope everyone is staying safe, and we thank you all, and we thank all the students who are currently working under essential services in the community. And for one final time, and, and that's, that's been your Hawk Squawk Northumberland! Northumberland. <laughs>
as all you geniuses can tell, this is being recorded. And I don't know what time you plan to listen to me do whatever I'm doing. So to hop into all these nice things, I'll get the, uh, the pleasant trays out of the way. I'd like to thank everyone on the old Northumberland Regional High School payroll. You all made our lives better in between the hours of 10 after 9 and 10 to 3 because we all left early and got here late. I'd like to thank, uh, you know, the, the siblings, the parents, guardians, grandparents, wherever you all may be. We got one of my fellow graduates to uh, the end of the stage over here to uh, get their diploma because some need it. I'd like, uh, I'd like to show my great test that I was made valedictorian. I feel like there's a lot better people for the job. I'd like to say that to cover my own high because that's what I do. Fun fact. Here we go. Uh, I didn't know it until uh, I was even the, I didn't even know I was candidate until someone told me. And then the next day uh, I was valedictorian. Fun fact. A lot of fun facts here. It's the way she's going to go. And uh, so I learned I got the job, I guess, and I was like, well, here we go again. Got to pull another uh, English assignment out of nowhere overnight that I have no idea how to do. I'm sure all my fellow graduates can attest to that. They all know what's going on. In all serious though, I was real honored to get the gig, I suppose, and I thought there was a lot of great people up to be about Victorian, and thought that maybe they should be, but I was real honored to uh, have been everybody, or not everybody, but most people's choice, I guess. I won my uh, popular vote. <laughs> Surprise. Uh, so I guess what, so I got online and had a little look around. I was like, well, what am I supposed to be doing here anyway? And they said, well, but you're, you got to regale on your four years of your great high school experience. I said, wonderful, I can get that done. I'm a smart guy, I got a good memory, like an elephant. I can get that done. So I, I started getting back in the old brain to have a look around. And uh, well, I'm like, well, Jesus, I can't find much to think about. That was real good times. All I could think about is sitting home, not doing much in between every day. Just sitting at home, watching the global pandemic waste away my high school career, as some would say. And I said, well, that was grade 11. I said, well, you know what? Grade 12 is looking pretty good, too. We'll go have a look there. And I said, well, a lot of the same stuff. It was a little worse this time, though. I had to do them got off of Google Meet classes. They were horrible, let me tell you. Let me, I had no good internet. It was an absolute chore trying to get that done. So, and then I'm, I'm like, so then I get lost in this story, whole plot thing. And like, well, I, I start thinking of all these things that I missed out on. All these sporting events, rugby games, all these cool clubs and ideas we had going on, graduation events, all these things we had vision for like, since we were like, we little, we hard a grasshopper. And I said, well, we didn't get any of that, so why ain't that sad? But as I sat here, took a long and hard think about school and what really made it a good time. It wasn't the early mornings, it was, definitely wasn't school, I'm going to tell you. And it for sure wasn't Mars' as math jokes. The people that we all surrounded ourselves during these four years is what made them bearable. It's what made them high school. It made them a pretty good, pretty good time. So uh, it was it was it was every drive at lunch to the Dairy Queen, which uh, I think we should get a discount from that place because we all easily threw hundreds of dollars at that place every week, no matter what, for a good two and a half years. It was like the same thing happened in the first one and a half years, but that was at the broken Gator, Gatorade machine that just kind of took money for no reason, didn't give us Gatorade, got messed up, the way she goes, I guess. But that's all my rant for today, I suppose. But in all seriousness, I'd like to circle back around and congratulate all our graduates on graduating because we've been through a fair amount in the last four years. We had the obvious global pandemic, which was a real thing that really put a damper on things, let me tell you. Like, life put a lot of damper on that. 
And then some of us, you know, we had travesties we lost. Loved ones, friends, a lot of loved ones. It all happened. Way she goes, I guess. I wish it wasn't, but I've been there, done that. She sucks. But, uh, I'll look down here for the next one. But, uh, I guess my point is that y'all made it. Got through four years of, for some of you, absolute chaos. Absolute hell. Y'all made it through. So I'd like to say, as a real, uh, real proud dad moment, good job, guys. Way to go. I know personally, the only reason I got through there was uh, some free lunches I got because I absolutely robbed them from a couple of the teachers here that made them. Absolute gem, Mr. Cobb. Uh, in all honesty, I was confused while I got chosen as the auditorium. Had no sweet clue, couldn't write one, didn't know what to put in it. So, what any sensible lad would do in these times, I went to the internet to do a couple Google searches. What I found was horrible. All of them were not funny at all. Like, I, I mean, I'm not either, but way she goes. So, I went in, had a look around, couldn't find anything, until I found like this Quizlet, which basically told me all the answers of what I had to get done. And like, and what this guy did is that he had these really nice, empowering words for the future, which I thought were horrible, like didn't make me happy at all but the way she goes. So I was like, well, because he was like, embrace the future, have the, hmm, go team. And I was like, that's not good at all. So let me start by saying, with that all happy, lovey, dovey bullshit, that, you know what, go for the future, you can do it. Have fun. Uh, but what I'd really like to get across is that in life, Mind you, this is very inexperienced. I am 18 years of age, no clue what's going on. Still figuring it out, but I feel pretty entitled, so I'll say something. Uh, in life, I'd like y'all, for me, well, mostly for you, but do it for me, because, haha. Uh -huh. uh, be happy. Have a good laugh at the shit that isn't funny. Because, I don't know, makes you laugh more and laughing in my uneducated opinion, well, I guess it's educated now, uh -huh. uh, is laughter. It makes things a real good time. Makes, makes life just that bit more durable and maybe even a little bit enjoyable. But uh, yeah, if I could leave you with a couple words, don't worry, be happy. Bob Marley's a good guy. So, uh, yeah, uh, take her easy, keep your stick on the ice, and uh, I'll see you through your union if you make her.